Right now at 11, two men locked up for more than two decades for a murder they say they didn't commit are free. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday evening. I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Kaylee Kirby in for Melissa Andrews tonight. June 15th, 1998, police found 13-year-old Maurice Purify shot four times in the head and once in the chest. Two years later, a jury would find Wayne Brady and Carl Willis guilty. It was August of 2019 when our 11 investigates team dug into the case, learning the two men claimed they were innocent. The next year, the Innocence Project filed a motion on their behalf. Ultimately, leading up to the pair taking Alfred pleas today and finding themselves free after 23 years behind bars. Kaylee Marantet begins our team coverage. I know I can speak on behalf of him too. We look forward to being productive members of society, and we got a lot of support to go ahead and do that. Closure is not just for the family, for the surviving sister and brother of poor Maurice Purifree. Sometimes closure is for the defendants as well. This plea agreement would result in defendants' release from incarceration after over 23 years and end over two decades of post conviction litigation surrounding uh, convictions that were based solely on the testimony of a known and habitual liar. Each of the defendants is to be released this evening uh, to their family, uh, which will be uh, waiting for them outside of Lucas County Correction Center. He's going to be dynamic. God is good. God is good. God is good. Looking forward to marrying this woman right here. Oh, I'm so oh, speechless, but I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Hey, hey. My baby, man. I love you, boy. You weren't even born when this journey started. And I told Wayne the other day when he called, I said, I know there's a reason why it took so long. So it's for, it's a message. It's sending a message to those other people in there who are innocent, you know, who know they're innocent and then stand by it. For everybody that's incarcerated or in life in general, man, don't never give up. Right. Keep fighting, stay strong. I just thank God for you. Like I told you, when I first met you, I said, take this case. I said, just look up, just look over. And look, what, look, look now. God said the angel, and I appreciate you. You cracked the story. With the Ohio Innocent Project and you, when this is this. Well, as you just saw and heard right there, those two men are thanking our 11 investigates team right now. The work by lead investigator Brian Duggar over the course of the last four years alongside the Innocence Project really paved the way for this release. And Brian joins us now live in studio. Brian, an air of celebration as these two men walked free today, and it didn't stop outside the jail, did it? No, it really didn't. Late last week, Carl Willis told me that he was looking forward to his first post-prison meal, and tonight he got that long-awaited dinner. The Ohio Innocence Project treated Braddy and Willis, along with family and friends, to dinner at Mommy Bay Brewing Company. For Braddy, that first meal was chicken and waffles. For Willis, it was a simple cheeseburger and fries. But more than just food, the night was also an opportunity for a group of more than 50 people to welcome the men home after more than 23 years in prison. And it was also a chance for the men to say thank you to those in attendance and to members of the community who propped them up over all these years. Very amazing, very blessed, very supportive. I can't describe it. It's a million words running through my mind. I'm just gonna say I was blessed. We came a long journey and we still, it's still ways to go, but we're going to make it and we couldn't have did it on our own. Now, tomorrow morning, the men will report to their community control officers. They will continue to be monitored for the next two years, but they will do it as free men. So much of the attention today was focused, obviously, on Braddy and Willis. And this story is about much more than that. In fact, you have spent time investigating things for the other family that was involved here. We're talking about Maurice Purify. So what did you hear from them today? Yeah, Maurice Purify was a 13-year-old boy who was killed back in 1998. And, you know, he was brutally murdered. And 25 years later, his family is still mourning him. 
There were tears throughout the day and Maurice's sister, Sherry, told the court that her family has been harassed over the years, that even going to the grocery store can be difficult. But she also said that they've not been able to heal with the continuous appeals. And today's appeals, appeals end the legal journey and hopefully begin that healing process. Well, thanks for all you've done this entire investigation, Brian. Absolutely, Brian. And obviously, I, 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 I don't want to leave this moment without saying we noticed at the very end there you getting a hug and embrace from one of the gentlemen who was obviously very appreciative of the Ohio Innocence Project and the work you did over the last four years. Yeah, I mean, it's been a four year process and, you know, in many ways, they've been a part of my life for four years because I have been investigating every detail about what happened 25 years ago. So, you know, over that time, I mean, you certainly get yeah. to know them. And so it was emotional for all of us. Brian, thank you so much for your continued work. We have the whole section dedicated to the 11 Investigates Guilty Without Proof series on our website. Just go to WTOL.com and click on 11 Investigates at the top of the page. You can also watch the series on our WTOL 11 YouTube page.